How do stories relate to how our brain works, how our mind is working? Most books on storytelling, when they include a part about how the brain works, they talk about the old part of the brain, the amygdala, the flight, fright response. But that's not really explaining how our mind works with stories. It's much more sophisticated than that. The largest part of our brain, the neocortex, is about that big if you hold two fists in front of you and it's in two halves like that and it's pretty wrinkly like that. And if we were to open it out flat, it would look about the size of, well in Australia we'd call it about the size of a tea towel, in the United States about the size of a dinner napkin, and also about that thick, a couple of millimeters thick. And it's comprised of normally six layers of, of nerve cells, of neurons, about 30 billion of them. And all of our senses connect up from inside. So our sense of sight, for example, vision is about the size of a postcard at the back of the neocortex, and all of the other senses plug in. The five senses that you learned at primary school, but also three other senses, your sense of balance, vestibular system, your sense of where your arms and legs are, your body perception, that's called proprioception, and most importantly, your internal body sense, your sense of arousal, your guts, your heartbeat, that's all plugged up into the neocortex and the whole sheet of nerve cells, 30 billion nerve cells, is performing one primary operation and it is memory sequence prediction. It's predicting what's going to happen next. So you are probably trying to predict what I was going to say, if I'm going to say what I'm going to say next, but you'll also predict in a story what you're going to see and what you're going to feel and what you're going to hear. So the power of a story is that because it's a sequence and because, by, because good stories are unpredictable, the listener puts themselves in the story and imagines themselves as the character of the story. And they're trying to predict what they're going to see in the story next, what they're going to feel in the story next. And that's how we pass experiences through story. And that's how your neocortex works, how it works as a memory prediction engine. Whatever is easy to predict, we stop paying attention to. So stories need to be unpredictable so that our audience pays attention to the story.